Hello everyone. So, it's time for more Eve. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit different. I've got a bit of a cold, but that's not going to stop me. <laughs> so, uh, what have I been... It's been, what, it's the sixth today? Fifth today? Fifth today. So it's been about four days, four or five days of skill training uh, since I last recorded. So, uh, what have I been, you know, doing? So in this period, I have just started drones. I did some of that yesterday, and as you can see, it's mainly drone skills here, and a bit of electronics, some targeting, which actually I should probably do targeting now. Actually, good skill to have. And I'll explain. Well, I'll explain that as we get out there. Why that's good to have. Um, I've been doing some gunnery skills, and I've also trained into hybrid weapons, so rail guns, which we'll be using hopefully later on in the future. Um, I've done some industrial skills here, though I haven't started that one yet. We've done some basic hull upgrades and repairing skills. Generally, generally I've done tons of uh, just, just basic, you know, sk small skills. And I've done quite a few of those because at the start there's a lot of smaller skills that only take about half an hour to an hour to do. If I like level one. So for instance, this only needed eight minutes for level one. So I've been getting quite a lot of the basic skills. And I, haven't real I didn't realise how many there were until... Uh, I came back to try and actually made a new character. Because I've been playing Eve on and off for about two years now. Maybe three years even. Yeah, three years now, on and off. And I've been playing the same character then. And so I've already had all of these skills and tons more. And I hadn't realised how many little skills that are crucial to my character that I didn't I needed, which I didn't have on this character. So I've just been slowly getting those up to, you know, a decent standard of level three and some level four. And that's, you know, just to start off with. And after that, we're going to start going more specialising stuff. For instance, we'll start getting t unlocking uh, Tech 2 items, which are much better than Prude versions of uh, Tech 1 items. And they're really, really good. It's pretty much Tech 2 is where you want to be at quite early, as soon as possible. But we'll be getting to that a bit slower, because I want to kind of branch out quite a bit. Because I like having a lot of options available to me. So, um, also, we're currently sitting at, how much are we sitting at? 2.3? Uh, mill there, which is good. We've uh, been, I've been shopping a bit. So we've got two ships here, we've well, got three. We got this execution part of the military set, gave us a free ship. And we've also got this ship here. This is a freighter, it's an industrial ship. And it's pretty much just for transport and cargo, that's all it does. Uh, but that's that will be useful more so later on than it is quite right now. Um, and maybe I shouldn't have brought that because that cost me almost a million. Isk. May I've used it a bit already and it's been kind of handy. So uh, we are in the new patch. So before we were playing, what was it? it wasn't retro, I can't remember what it was called now, the last expansion pack. But uh, on the 4th, yesterday, a new expansion pack came out called uh, Retribution. And it's done, there's new ships, some of which I've been actually aiming for. Um, so new destroyers. And ideally, right now everything's the, yeah, this is the ship I want to get next. Because it's a drone carrier, and I love drone ships. Drones are the coolest thing I think in this game. But it's a brand new ship, and you see it's quite a lot of money. Um, but that will go down a lot. And this is because at the start, when new stuff items come out, people who make them, there's not much on the market when people make them straight off the bat. So they can really rack up the price and make tons of money from them. And slowly, as more of these uh, ships enter the market, you can see it's quite a few now. Uh, and people will stop, they won't actually buy them for a while, so usually. It's not wise to buy them when they first come out, just give it a week or so, even less. And the price will really drop down, because yesterday these, these were like 15 million isk, and they've already halved, so tomorrow they might halve again. And eventually they'll probably keep, be more in line with the other catalyst, uh, with the catalyst, so that'd be like a million isk, which is, you know, certainly much more acceptable. So I'm not, I must admit, I'm not entirely sure how much one of these costs um, to make so I don't know how the price will go but they should be a lot lower than that Let's see what else. each each new faction has their own one by the way um, this is something else I'm aiming for now this has jumped down quite a bit this is a little mining frigate and I uh, you know mining as I said earlier, um, I think I said last time not the most interesting thing but it's a good form of it's just to get you get the ball rolling and stuff so um as well as doing that, I've been doing all these missions here, and, uh, well, I haven't been doing those, but I've been doing uh, quite a few missions and, you know, increasing my capital and skills and stuff. 
and my standings, which will be crucial later on. And I've been saving this one here. So this is the last mission for the military career um, guy. And we get, we get a new ship at the end of it. We get Punisher. This is it. It's a frigate. And it has three weapon slots, four high slots, two mid slots, and four low slots. And this is... it's. It's a combat frigate compared to our current ship, which is what is our current ship class at? Show info. Attack frigate, yeah. So th th this ship is weaker than the Punisher, but it's so much more faster. Um, so this will have different roles, which you know, like tackling and stuff. So slowing down enemy. Sh it's more of a support role ship. Where this is going to be, this ship is a direct combat ship, and it's quite a tough ship as well. So we're actually going to go off and do this, and I can get to show you some, uh, you remember combat from the last video, we didn't do much there, but you, you remember it. Now when you go, we go to combat here, I want you to see the differences, um, especially the UI differences, because those have received an update. So it's got the, uh, ooh. yeah we need to set destination because it's two jumps out, so we'll just jump out there. And you can actually already see some differences now. You might need to see them. See the little arrows there? That's new. Uh, the little arrows point inwards and the circle. That's quite new. I thought it was like a little square. Uh, while we're going there, I'll show you off show off the fit I'm currently using for the ship. Now this isn't a really it's not a brilliant fit. A lot of this isn't actually useful. Um, so I've got three weapons here. I have this, it's a warp structure, which is not useful in PvP at all. But I ha I have it on because there's a mission. That you had to use it on, so uh, just left on. We've got an afterburner, so we can go really fast, or not really fast, but fast. Uh. <laughs> and over here, I have a damage control one. Now this this increases your resistances for shields and armor. And if you're tanking, generally you want a damage control because they're really good. And so uh, weapon types they do certain damage, you know, certain damage types. So. A weapon could do EM damage, or thermal damage, or kinetic damage, or explosive damage. And uh, the higher your resists are, the less damage those types of weapons would do. So, for my armor, I've got zero EMP damage resistance. And that is because, really, EMP doesn't really affect armor too much. It's pretty useless against armor. Um, but it's really good at shields, so EM damage, would, uh, you do bonus damage pretty much against shields. Uh, oh, that shield, sorry. So you see the 0% damage, EMP damage will lose none of its... It will have no damage reduction when you shoot someone with shields. Thermal, so if someone shoots me with thermal, I get a damage reduction. I'm not sure if that's actually 20% damage reduction, but, you know, it kind of plays in there. And, you know, this is my armor, slightly higher. But you can see there's four slightly different stuff. So shields are good at blocking explosive and kinetic damage, whereas armor is really good at blocking thermal and uh, EM damage. And the higher resists are, the less damage you take, essentially. Um, yeah. And later on, as we get into level 4 missions, which are still a bit off, but what you do is every time you fit your ship, you'll fit it for the type of the resistance. The, the, you'll try and fit your ship to counter the damage the enemy would do on that mission. And most of the time in level 4 missions, they have a set damage type, or like a set 2 damage types. Um, and you'll see that later on, because th uh, there's a little table I'll show you. Well, it's not really a table, but you know I'll show you that. And you'll see how I fit the ships for each mission individually. And it'd be more just the armor tanks, just the armor plating and all that jazz. So let's go for the acceleration game to our mission. So we're all here. Right then, so we'll activate this. And we will activate, we can't activate that, it's a passive module. We'll just leave that on for now. Now, you ready? Ah, oh, good. Now, targeting, the higher the targeting is, the more targets you can have. So if you start... Now, look at that. Watch that. Oh, look how good that looks. And wait till you see... So I can lock... Before, I can only lock two targets, but now I've got that, I can lock three targets. Let's go kill these guys. So we can get super fast. Now, watch... Watch the text that appears there when we shoot. Look how much nicer that is. And I think the sounds changed as well. See, isn't that so much nicer? There we go, 33 damage. There's one target down. Just pressing the hotkeys there. For the hot, there you can, there's hotkeys for the uh, 
your weapon slots. And for the we the high slots, it is F1 through F8, and that corresponds to a certain slot. Actually, you know what? With these guys, we can easily spread damage because they're just so weak. So it's alright. Normally, you wouldn't spread damage like that. So I'm just by the, I'm just pressing those, by the way, just because it's faster, and it's a habit I've got into. Especially if you do lots of PvP, you want to quickly change what you're firing and all that. And if you have to look over here, it's easier just to press the keys and to move your mouse down there. You know how hotkeys work. So fight some executioners here. Already destroying them really badly. These are, uh, what are they, core by? So taking hardly any shield damage, which is brilliant. Let's finish this guy off. Oh, we're taking quite a bit of shield damage now. But still nothing much. So let's take a look. What is our mission? Hmm. To find the deep. Okay, so this is like a, this will actually be like a typical level four mission. You clear up rooms. These are known as rooms. And then you go to the next one by going for the acceleration gate. And you kill a boss at the end sometimes. Alright. Ah, that's new. So this is, there's like non, there's like logout timers and stuff, and there's a safety thing here. So pretty much with enabled safety, I mean, I can't shoot anything that in a high sec that will get me, uh, that give me criminal status. So I can't shoot players at all. Now if I take this off, it will actually allow me to shoot players, but I will then, uh, I can still, I'll get criminal status for that. And it's pretty much just added protection, because um, I have once or twice accidentally shot out a, uh, an, uh, well not an enemy, he was just a guy just casually chilling and just so happened to accidentally get shot by me. And it was actually an accident, I did accidentally click there. And because uh, I wanted the remote weapon but I used a weapon accidentally. <laughs> and you know, people weren't happy. And that was a, that was, that was a long time ago, I must admit. Like pretty much went out back when I started. As I said here, I'm spreading my weapons again on different targets. I wouldn't really ever do that, but it's because these missions are so easy. It's almost impossible for you to fail. It's you could spread damage quite easily because the, the enemy just doesn't put up enough DPS to kill you usually by the time you've killed them because they're so weak. As you see later on, if we get to level uh, four, still enemies. Walked in. Uh, so the the amount of deep, some of them push out a lot of damage. So you have to you will kill have to try and kill ones that do a lot of damage and there's certainly an art to it. But generally once you get the hang of them, oh we're stuck in. It's, it's annoying when you get stuck in these. Um, but yeah, eventually once you get the perfect fit, you can kind of. A lot of people can blitz through them quite easily, and you can make quite a bit of money from them. They, oh, they haven't even aggroed. That's strange. Shooting at them, they should have aggroed. Never mind, they are shooting me. Are they? Yeah, it's just not showing up as aggroed. Strange. Okay, yeah, they are. Never mind, they're flashing. I quite like the new sounds, actually. I think they're new. They sound new. Let's get some place on that. You see our shield's gonna it's starting to take some damage there. Oh, look at those explosions. Those are new as well, I think. <laughs> Don't remember those. Ooh, that makes sense. You activated that. I love this new yacht. It looks so much nicer. And this, oh. So good. You can move them around. I prefer it up there to be honest. So it's still out of the way, but you know, it's out of the way and still in range of everything. So you can quickly click on the target and then click lock. Nice and easy. Alright, let's go jump through that. Now, we're still in shields, so we haven't even got armor yet, which is perfectly fine. Even if we lose our shields, we do have an armor repairer. And we can repair 60 armor every, uh, every 6 seconds. Ooh, shake both surfaces. Oh, we can see all the damage we cause. That's good. Mm. 
Right, okay, so let's take out this, uh, this lockup. First we'll take out these, uh, these stasis turrets. Because those, as you can see, our speed has just been reduced drastically. So when, oops, excuse me. When that dies, watch our speed just go back up. Oh, that noise means our shields are set. Okay, there's a lot of damage here. <laughs> and partly it's because we're going really slow with so much easier to hit, and the enemy's going to do a lot more damage to us. Oh, we're in armor now. Come on, stasis tower. See, we're tanking this, no problem. Turn it off after that. Save cap. Because there's no problem, we just wait that to go back up again before we start repairing. Because we can easily re repair everything as long as we've got cap. And if we're just sitting there, we're wasting so much cap. Put in a quick cycle there. Oh my god, this is a tough tower. We're almost in. Oop. We're almost in destruction now, which is good. So they should they die really easily once you get to structure. I mean, any ship does. Because structure, there's just no resistance on structure at all. Pop that off. Right, so those guys next. Oh my god, it's armor repping, I think. So it's there. That's strange. Five percent of its armor just stays still. Rep cycle. There you go. He's down. Scrap that. Watch our speed go up. And we were gonna take. We're gonna take so much less damage now because we're going really fast. You can see the damage is already reduced. Just pop up. Okay, one left. And then you. Oh no, never mind. There's two left. It's so nice. So much better than the old text. Let's get the stolen navy ship. Just throw another cycle there. Just might as well. Even though that is probably going to be a bit of waste of cap, but it's alright. Um, oh, actually, no, we're going to 34%. Mm. Let's, have to, let's boost after you for a bit. And then we'll pop you off. Let's see, what are you? You in a pod? Yeah, this person's fine in a pod. Why are you in a pod? Are we meant to destroy that ship, by the way? Hmm. Well, you're going to be easy. So, you may recognise, remember the pod when we first started? Whenever you lose your ship, it blows up, you end up in that pod, pretty much. Do a quick cycle there to fix up that hard damage. And he has no weapons, he can't fit with anything. And so I guess he's just flying away. We'll probably kill him in one or two shots. Oh, he's got quite a tough pod. Nope, turn off you. <laughs> just flew right past him. Oh, nice car coming in here. Whoa, what are those? Just grab those, I guess. I've never seen these before. Oh, mission done. So let's uh, set head back. 2543k uh, worth of visk in here. I've never seen these before. I guess you make these. With, I know you make these with uh, planetary, inter uh, planetary interaction. I did quite a bit of that on my old character. It's not a bad source of income. Certainly, you need to get a bit of seed money to do that. I might show that off actually because we could do a bit of extra income. But as with anything with Eve, it does take a bit of planning. Alright, let's jump. Hmm. So, it won't be long before we say goodbye to this beautiful ship. It's been through quite a lot already. Um, I've always been a big fan. I've liked executioners. They're cool ships, and they're really good. But I've never, I've never actually used many past. No, I've never used one for PvP. I should have used one when we did some core PvP once ages ago in an old core. But that's really it. Hmm, maybe I should use them more. I mainly um, in my other character. I mainly fly uh, Minmatar ships. Um, Typhoon was a favourite of mine because it's pretty much a. Yeah, I mean, I love the Typhoon. I think it looks really cool. 
a lot. See, typhoon, typhoon's like Marmite. Um, if anyone knows what Marmite is, like you, you either love it or you hate it. And that's what the typhoon is. Beast of Oh god, they've gone up in price. It's the last play. They used to be 60 mil. 90 now. Here you go, this typhoon. Beautiful little thing. <laughs> uh, typhoon is... Um, have they, have they, did they change it? No, they haven't changed it yet. So the Typhoon, you need a lot of skills to fly the Typhoon well. And even then, I'm not sure I threw it pretty brilliantly well. But I did love it. Um, pretty much what you do, well my fit had a bunch of large auto cannons on the side. And it, and a bunch of cruise missiles, occasionally. And it's one of the, the few ships where you have two different weapon systems. Apart from drones. You actually have three, because this is ship that has a massive drone base, so that's one of the reasons why I loved it. I love drones. Um, but pretty much, yeah, you don't ever really want to split uh, your weapon systems. You want to generally stick to the same one. So you will either have all projectile turrets, or you have all cruise missiles. I don't really know many other ships that actually do have this split here. Because one of the reasons for that is because you get these... Uh, I'll actually show you something now, quickly. Uh, Terrace base. Weapon upgrades. Let's just look at gyro stabilizers. So gyro stabilizers are, uh, they're low, they're low slot items, and you put them, so you put them down here. And essentially they just, they increase the speed and damage of projectile turrets. Now if you have two, every weapon system has their version of this, so for instance, ballistic controls for missiles, there we go. Uh, heat sinks are for lasers. And magnetic field stabilizers are for rail guns. And if you have two weapon systems, you can't really take full advantage of that as well. Where if you only have one, if you put two of those on, it will benefit all your weapons. But if you have split, and say you have four of each, four missiles and four, I don't know, projectile turrets, if you, you, have, if you put two uh, ballistic whatever control systems which benefit missiles only four of your weapons are getting a boost the other three aren't so you lose out a lot there which is a shame but I still love that ship I just love it so much so then let's complete this mission oh we were given that item at the start oops <laughs> oh well um, but we also got a skill book there which is good happy with that it's a nice skill book it saves me buying it so here she is let's assemble and make her active a new ship, a bit bigger. It's not a bad looking ship. Not bad at all. So uh, I guess we need to start fitting you, don't we? So uh, pretty much what we'd do here was we'll strip this, strip this ship. So all our items are going to go here. Oops, didn't I just wanted to move that, not shrink that. So uh, let's just select all of those. There we go. Three weapons. Ooh. Now we don't need more turret slots, sadly. Do we, we don't have any missile slots in the ship either. Hmm. Damn. Oh, it's not so uniform. I remember you used to have full weapons. I swear to God you used to be able to have full weapons on the ship. I just, I don't know. Hmm. Do I use this yet? I can. Awesome. So we'll throw these on. This is pretty much the same fit we were using already. But there you go. And there she is. She's fit. Uh, so the big difference between the last ship is um, Executioner had a extra a low slot, didn't it? Let's take a look. Did it? Uh, mid slot, sorry. And most of your support items they go in your mid slot. So stuff like our oh, stasis web, which will slow down enemies. As you saw in the last mission, actually, you know that tower we're shooting that was slowing us down. That's the stasis web, so that would be handy. Make us easy to kill targets. Now I'm probably going to ignore the rest of these because I just can't be arsed with them. So what we're going to do is we're actually, we won't do it today, well I won't show you because it's just going to be a lot of annoying stuff. But we are going, I don't want industry, I've already done you, I want security is good. Internal security is even better though. Hmm. Let's see, so what we're going to do is we're packing up base here, this is our old base and it's, we're going to move out. So what, it's one of the reasons why I got this ship here, because um, with this we can hope we'll be able to fit that in there. We might just be able to fit that in there as well, and then all of our items. So 
Uh, sadly, we won't be able to fit these in them, are we? We can pack them up, can't we? No, we won't be able to fit those in at all. So I could have to leave those behind, sadly. But, um, yeah, so we might sell this. How much does that sell for? Let's just repackage that. Hmm, it's not very much. I guess it's some income. What if we reprocess that before we get? See, I need to work on my finery skills so I can start reprocessing stuff more. With a lot of junk use, uh, junk loot, it's generally better to reprocess them if you've got a higher refined skill than to actually sell the item because you get more money from it in the, in the, in blah, Jesus, <laughs> in form of the ore it has. Let's see, how much can I sell these for? See, I can't sell these anything to what it predicts, which sucks. You can't reprocess these. What we do is we'll send these off, let's actually let's take a look at the marketing, oops. No, those are quite high here, actually. Those are really high there. Is that low sack? No. 333. Who's mm. paying the highest you are? So we could make, we actually wouldn't make very much at all, would we? We'll make, what, 300 ear scoff of each one? What's 300 times 300? Uh, 9,000. Yeah, it's not really much risk, but... I guess as a starting point, it's kind of a bit it, but... No, we won't bother with that. But, you know, that's some trading, by the way, guys. We've just seen some trading. Buy low. 2,500, sell high, 2,800. Station trade, that's not station trading, that's uh, that's just trading. But yeah, so what we're going to do is, well not now, but next time you come back, we will be in a completely new system, probably here, doing some level 1 missions now. So we pass career and we're on to level 1. We don't have enough standing to do level, ooh, we can do level 2, but only in low sec, and we're not going to go out there, not yet. We haven't got enough capital to go up there and kind of survive properly. If you want to go up to the low stack, you need a bit of money because you will lose ships and you need to replace them. So yeah, I think I'm quite happy there. I think we'll end it there. Um, so you see my skills. This week I will be working on drones and I will hopefully get us to destroy when the prices go down. I really, really want this destroyer. The Galliant Destroyer. That thing. I think this looks. This thing looks. It looks cool. She kind of reminds me. In, if you guys have seen Battlestar Galactica, the little flight pod things on the side. But uh, so we're going to try and work towards that when it goes cheaper. And we'd like to get hold of this mining frigate. Just a nice thing to get some extra money on the side. They've already dropped down in price a lot since yesterday, considering how much they're up. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that, about that much yesterday, in general. So we could technically afford one now, but it's a lot of money just to throw away on this ship already. So I let that go down a little bit more, or we will just wait for some more money. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll be working just on the skills I've currently got and some new ones, the ones I've got in here. And I'm I'm hoping to put us into a position where we can start working on. Cruisers, getting cruiser ships, and the cruiser ship we're going to aim for is the Arbiter. Arbiter? Is the Arbiter? I call it the Arbiter. 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 Um, this is one of my. This is my favourite cruiser, pretty much. Look at it. It looks. It looks nice. And where is it? There you go. Love that. I love drones so much. And it's got, oh, it's got a massive drone bay. So generally with that ship, what would fit is we have drone modification, we have a tank and drone modifications in the low slot. And in the high slots and mid slots we'll just have anything which will disrupt the enemy. So steel enemy cap, uh, target disruption. So we're just harder to kill. And most of our damage will come from drones with that ship probably. Yeah. So there's there's some more. This is this week's 
well, I wouldn't say this week, but there you go, five days on in Eve. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask again. Um, if you want to, you know, chat to me in game, there you go, there's my net character's name, just look it up, you're more than welcome to. Um, yeah. And, you know, feel free to send donations. I love a bit of donations. Donations are good because I want a bigger bank account. Mm, that's, these are all our transactions over the week, below. Quite cool. But anyway, yeah, sorry I'm going on a bit. Actually, let's just quickly claim. How many certifications have I got? Oh, just one. <laughs> Damn. Oh well. Right, so see you guys later. Bye bye.